Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how people make a very common mistake when they first meet somebody and fall into a relationship too quickly. And the mistake is this, you know, you meet someone and you experience this chemistry and it's amazing and unparalleled, so it seems. And so while you're in this whole wave of being smitten and totally captivated by this new person in your life, you, whoa, that bird's making hell crazy noises. Hello, bird. Wow, I'm totally captivated by this one. I think it wants to have a conversation. Anyway, you get totally captivated by novelty. And so you think, oh wow, it's meant to be, you know, all my life I've longed for somebody to spend my life with, a companion to be there through the hard times as well as the sweet and soft. And so, you know, with all this kind of wishful thinking, all this hope and optimism, and sometimes all this desperation of really thinking you need someone in your life, you know, you meet someone, everything's great to begin with, and so you think, let's get into a relationship, let's make it official, you know, let's put a ribbon around it, and I don't know, and then cut the ribbon, and then smash the bottle on the side of a yacht, and go sailing on the, on the sea of fantasy, you know? And that's all fine and well for like the first one or two weeks, and then the common case scenario for many people after they've met someone and the excitement has them, you know, locking up together with all their hopes and all their expectations. After that, uh, reality starts dawning, the facade starts to fade away and replaces the truth, the reality of the relationship and the people in the relationship. And then, you know, each person starts finding themselves thinking, wow, this person isn't actually who I thought she was or he was to begin with. It isn't that great, this relationship. It's not even that realistic. I don't think it's gonna work. And then bam, within a month, what shot up came down. And everything that goes up must come down. But if, it, if it's only a month or two months effort, then you probably went into it too quickly to begin with. And that's what I think the problem is, is that people want so badly someone else. They want that one true love or whatever it is, just someone to be there and something prolonged and that will develop over time in a meaningful and in fulfilling way. And so whenever there is a glimpse of hope or a chance for somebody that, you know, that they think, well, this could be the person, they, they stretch it out and they really draw on that, you know, that glimpse and trying to turn it into a prolonged stare of meaningfulness when really they're just staring into the void of their own loneliness, the void of their own lacking. And once they get through that, beyond that, they see everything for how it really is. And it's disappointing as fuck and disheartening. And you lose more hope, becoming more desperate and more inclined to just jump into the next opportunity with somebody that presents itself and on the cycle goes, you know? And that's what I think the problem is when people meet, Instead of them, you know, getting to know each other and gradually going through the phases and playing ball, gradually throwing the ball higher, harder, more enthusiastically until they're both on the same page playing catch together, you know, and they've built up to that level over time. Instead of doing that, people generally think, all right, this is what we want. This is the kind of relationship we idealize or envision, fantasize about, and they set the bar up here. And then they try with all their wit and will and even ignorance to make the relationship meet on par with their desires, with their wants, with their expectations. And often it fails to do so, you know? And I think that's, that's the, the worst part, that's the biggest mistake, is to first name what a relationship is, like saying, you know, this is an official relationship, we are devoted to each other, we're not seeing other people. When you're not really at that level yet, you know, I mean, when you make those promises to someone, it shouldn't be something you say, okay, if you want to see me and vice versa, this is the rules we've got to play by, otherwise it's a no-go. It, it shouldn't be something about obligation, you know, like a contract, but instead it should be something about mutual wanting, mutual willing, both people not wanting to sleep with anyone else, both people wanting the same thing and wanting that kind of commitment mutually. To the point where naturally, they just end up committing to each other. Not because they said to begin with, oh, you know, this is the way it has to be, otherwise it's, you know, all or nothing, but because they both just got to that level naturally. 
And that's the point, that I think it's much more beneficial, rewarding, I think the relationship will last, and it won't be, you know, contrived and stifled by setting the bar up here where you want the relationship to be initially and then trying with all your will to get to that level with the person and forcing you know, the pieces of the puzzle to fit with your scissors and your hammer when really maybe it's not meant to fit that way and maybe they're not the person that you should be committing to, you know? Even if you really want that really badly. So that's what I prefer to do. When I meet somebody as great as it feels and as much as I'm excited and as much as I think, wow, this could be the one, and even if she feels the same, I usually, you know, I don't throw caution to the wind too easily. I've done that enough and I've felt the pain that follows, you know, once, you're disil once you realize you've been disillusioned and you wake up to the reality and smell the coffee, it's even more bitter, the reality that follows than the sweetness the illusion provided to begin with. So now, whenever I feel that feeling with someone and vice versa, I still like to take it nice and easy, as Frank Sinatra would say, does it every time. And then the idea is that eventually when I meet the right person, the person appreciates me for who I am, not because of obligation, but just because that's the way it is and that's the way our feelings are. And when I meet that person and I feel the same way, then naturally, without even needing to set any bars, without needing to set any appointments or appointed expectations in which we will find ourselves disappointed about when the appointed expectations have failed to be met, instead of doing all that, we just let it be, let things develop naturally, and when we get to a level where we're already there, we can look at the relationship and, and call it for what it is. Instead of calling it for what we wish it to be, we can say, well, this is where we are at. This is where we have built up to. We are together. I don't want to see anyone else. You don't want to see anyone else. Awesome. We are together. Let's make it official. Bam! Stab that shit. You know, patent it. Otherwise, I don't see it being very beneficial to patent your relationship as being official, to patent you and someone else as being together and in love, totally devoted and exclusive when you're not actually there entirely yet. It's just something you're trying to work towards. You know, they say relationships take work. It shouldn't take work wanting to be with someone. It should just take work working through the things that makes you not want to be together. Cheers for watching. And uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more videos, food for thought, as well as random skits, music videos, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. A bit of everything on my channel. Feel free to peruse, and I'll catch you next time. Fair tidings, yo.